Hello, Zero Guys Zero Nineteen, and welcome back to another episode of Giga Wrecker. Last time we found some secret rooms, made some progress, and now not quite sure where we're going or where we're about to go, but it's like we're about to find out. Hmm. This must be the heart of this construction facility. Nice work, girl. If you wreck this place, I'm sure it will be critical damage to their supply lines. Good. Now all I need to... It is... So it is you. What a bad, bad girl. Oh. Hello. Looks like you're the one... Looks like you're the one who has been messing around and bullying all my adorable... Dear soldiers, yeah, you're. This is a sacred place where all the martyrs are cremated, and it will be the body of new lives. Slaughtering at such place, slaughtering at such place. No, this is not good. So I must punish you. Slaughtering? You machines think that you have a right to speak of life and death like humans? No way. I'm gonna blow this place up, and if you're getting in my way, you're gonna end up the same as well. Gotta love how bold our protagonist is. Looks like I have to teach you a lesson. We adults are the primus we adults are the primal species who have the right to rule this world, and you humans are nothing but a featureless race who can do nothing but to run away. It's kinda rude. Asha Venata looks like it. Looks like it's a boss fight. Oh, it's like I could parry her. And she just blew my potential that. Oh. And that was a parry on complete accident. Okay, and it. Oh. Alright, so far so good. Oh! She actually got me that time. So it looks like you get your debris wall bigger by parrying her sword out of her hand and then, uh. And then absorbing it. And wow, that's a lot of. That's a lot of projectiles. Oh! Oh. Not quite sure how I'm doing this, but it's... Oh. Alright, audio cues really help for when she's about to swing her sword down on you. Okay, uh, that happened. That was interesting. <laughs> I just, yeah, I really didn't know what to expect, you know, fighting her. She was just kind of all over the place, and gotta think for, I gotta think my reactions for that. <laughs> I feel like that should have went a lot worse. But that wasn't as hard as expecting either. Anyways, Erg, how could this be? I'm overwhelmed, but by an out of time useless creature. Your time's over now. If I destroy this factory, it should cause huge damage to all your weapon malfunction system. Ha! Huh. Out of time is over. Our time is over. <laughs> oh my! Looks like you humans really don't know a thing. Even if I meet my end here. 
and this summer has a, the blood steel arsenal becomes ruined. The authority and order of the Chi will stay completely dauntless and solid. As long as our master is alive. Our master? Hey girl, time to leave. This whole facility is starting to collapse. Still got a lot of things to ask you. Too bad, I'm out of here. Now that, now that she's defeated, she's trying to take you down together. All along with her territory. You're coming with me! If I go down, you're taking me- you're taking you with me, right? Or you're taking me with you, right? Good old Andros, saying. Phew, that was close. Are you okay, girl? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Tuck! The thing! The Ashifanada was talking about some master. Who's this master? Who the hell is it? Whoa, what's up? You seem to be such an a- you be- you seem to be in such a hurry. Don't ask me. Neither do I know. When I th fought those things, I found out. They have a stupid plan. They're trying to completely eliminate us and take over our positions. Also, they have some kind of leader responsible for all of this. And as long as those machines exist, we won't be able to get back. The peaceful world again. What are you trying to do, girl? I'm going to turn them into wreckage. Every everyone, everywhere. We gonna wreck it, that's for sure. A few hours later, the fall of Samaraza, the blood steel arsenal. Again, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing these names right. Okay, now that we actually have time to... Now that we actually have time to sit for a little bit, uh... Yeah, that boss fight was fairly surprising and uh, not as bad as I was expecting. The she actually does a, they actually did a pretty good job at uh, giving you time to like hit, hit her, and also recover as well. You know, it wasn't too overwhelming. It wasn't too overwhelming, but at the same time, it was kind of a challenge having to keep up, stay on your toes. That's how boss fights work on this game. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Heck, somehow I managed to get out of that factory. But now I'm completely lost here. Where on earth am I? Strange. Neither can I locate your position here. Everything around here is so creepy. Ne never know what might happen. Maybe the robot's big boss you've been looking for might suddenly appear. That'd be very unfortunate. Back at the puzzle land. And wasn't quite aiming to take take that guy out, but glad I did. Can I Okay yeah, I can kill these guys now. But I can't quite kill that guy yet. So, but I killed this guy over here. So, how the heck? Ugh. The bombs like track you like crazy, and it's kind of annoying. Pretty sure I can kill this big guy over here now. Can I? Yep. I gotta say, I still like how you kind of have to build a big enough debris wall to be able to take them on, and or build a bigger debris wall to expose their shield, something like that. Really adds a lot of interesting segments, in my opinion. Kind of like how we have to kill these enemies in this area one at a time to take them on. Or to get rid of all of them. Let's see how long I've been recording for.
All right, I'll go on for a little longer. This warp photo is not in operation. Oh, it is. Yep. I just realizing that we don't really have an operation map or our navigation map available, so really do wonder where we're going. <coughs> Sorry. Again, wasn't unintentional, but uh, I didn't notice that switch there until it pressed down. Funny how that worked out. Oh, is that that chick from when we first when we first started the game? It looks like her. Has the same hair color and everything. So this is what happened to her. It's kind of cruel. But that doesn't look like the Jeet's boss. A human? Wait, that girl. I know her. Yeah, it's our girl from before. You. You're that girl, aren't you? The one who saved me from that prison? Girl. Hey, hey, wait. So, not just her body. Looks like the... Looks like they fiddled with her brain as well. No. What have they done? Gr yeah, I'm not trying to make those sound effects. Hey, I don't even know your name. But you knew my name, didn't you? It's me, Rika. She's almost a beast. Come on, stay with me, girl. Or, come on, stay with me. You still got it, right? Your mind. Your human mind. Uh, uh, can't anymore. My, my mind. I can't keep longer. Hurry, please. Kill, kill me. No. No. I can't do it. I, knew, I know you don't want to, but look at her. There's no chance. There's no choice but to fight. Erg. Name. My name is Estra. Oh. So, so it's her. They're the ones she was talking about. No, stop it. One is created by a human using the IG technology. And the other is created by the IG using the human body. Two cyborgs with different organs. They're making these two kill each other. What an awful taste those robots have. I'll say. Urg, urg. Sorry about the sorry about the weak sound effects. Or weak Oh, so I guess or oh. Uh, oh, wow, okay, she's pretty fast. Uh, I really like how she, I'm guessing she's time stopping, so I think this is a really cool way to use it in a fight. And wow, she's really fast. I hardly could find time to say anything, if I'm honest. 
Dang it. Probably gonna. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I... Okay, I'm really feeling at this one fight right now. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, that didn't go as well as I expected. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, this chick is super fast. But to someone who could stop time, I guess they should expect that. Alright, let's. I can't lie, she sounds pretty creepy. Down. Hey, you don't have a lot of time to hit those projectiles. Threw me off right there. Alright, so far so good. Alright. I'm probably gonna get hit. Uh, got her. Barely. Oh, I just parried her. I didn't know you could do that. I'm gonna get hit! Nope! Okay. I got hit her first. Yeah, she really does not give you a lot of time to relax. Ugh. Aww. Uh. Thank you. But, what have I done? I just wanted to talk with you and ask you, why were you looking for me? Why were you trying to kill me? I came all the way here just to know the reason. I bested that chance with my own hands. Then, none of it can be recovered. I certainly didn't want to kill her, that's for sure. Hey, girl. Just leave me alone for now. You might have a chance to try again. I said leave me. Huh? What do you mean? The girl, whatever her actual name is, she called herself the Astra Sim Surama. Her ability she must have used an external position. Tachyon Protocol? I hope I pronounced that right. 
Manipulating device. What are you talking about? Listen, girl. Search her corpse and find that device. Then you might be able to try again. What? Her corpse. Try again? No kidding. I'm serious. With that device, I'll make a machine that will maximize the the particle's time distorting characteristics. This will activate a massive tachyon burst, which will is the worst time. So you'll be able to change the future and save her from dying. Wow. Well, uh Time's coming into play. A few days have passed after I gave Doc the Tachyon Particle Manipulator, which I found from Astra's Sarama body. Sarama's body. Doc then completely. Doc then completed a portable Tachyon Particle Manipulating Device. Okay, if you notice that I'm skipping words, uh, that's because I don't want to potentially keep pronouncing them wrong, so just a heads up. Now I'll use this to cause a time reverse and then go back to the time where she had hasn't died yet. The girl whose name I even don't know. So this, the Tekken Handler. Changing the future and the human destiny. What will happen from now is beyond the boundaries of science. Even I can't guess the results. But I'm sure you'll do well. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure. So, say hello to me in the past. <laughs> Got it. Okay, let's go. Wonder if... That's, uh, interesting. Wonder if we would have been able to use it before we got captured or something like that. What's wrong, girl? Did I really turn back time? <laughs> Had we just a surprise? Anything wrong with your body? Or should I adjust some of your nano machine parts? Doc, the weapon factory. It's not right. Aren't there any other bases? Come on, tell me. Huh? How do you know that? I haven't even told you about the robot factory. What's up with you? I didn't do that much remodeling with your brain. Maybe you've gone crazy after the operation. Of course not. I used it, the Tycoon Handler. Tycoon. I just hope for nothing that right. Other I'm just making a fool of myself. Maximize the Tycoon's particles, time starting characteristics to your machine, and activate a mass massive burst. Right? Hey, hey. How come you know about that girl? And said, and you said you actually used it. Are you really all right? But wait. Hmm. So it might be. Girl, so you really turned back time. Not just a few seconds or a few minutes, but a few hours or even a few days? Right. Just as expected, Doc. You understand the situation so fast. I already have the concepts in my head. Just having... Oh. Wrong voice! Not that all my voice tones sound that different. I already have the concepts in my head. Just having difficulty miniaturizing the device itself. So how, so somehow I completed it in the future, even with its uh, diversion of Ajit's technology. This proves that I'm such a genius. <laughs> Though it'll take much more time to. Though it'll take much more time for him to understand, he is more obedient than I thought. Or. Oh, that didn't say obedient. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, so you said the factory's not the right target? Because I wasted time there. The girl who helped me was turned into a cyborg by those things. To a cyborg, eh? Hmm. Let's see. If that's so, let it, let's see the factory f for more choice. Then, how about here? The Ajit's research laboratory, and. But there's less information about this place, so the risk will be higher. I don't care. I'm gonna go there. Uh, interesting. Uh, so apparently we reverse time a few days back. I mean, I think you probably would have had the choice to reverse time 
a bit further back, but guessing Rika didn't want to do that or something like that. So, or maybe she might want to in the future. Who knows? But looks like looks like technically all our progress was unmade. But looks like the map is still filled in, so that's good at least. So I guess that means Astra Donata is still alive then. Really curious how all that's going to play out, but we'll find out in the next episode because I'm sure I've been recording for a while. As for that boss fight, yeah, you, she didn't really give you a lot of time to do much. You kind of have to stay on your toes and keep moving. Still a really fun boss fight though. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Move guys here 19 and I'll see see you in the next episode. Peace out.